This is the Ordnance Survey's Minecraft map of Great Britain, created in September 2014 as a novel way of displaying geospatial data. We are currently flying over the Isle of Wight, where you should be able to make out the general landscape such as rivers, forests, roads and hills. We have tried to capture the landscape found within typical OS maps and represent it within Minecraft. As we approach Inverness, we are following the river as it winds flowing down the valley. We found that water features are absolutely critical to get right, as they are some of the most distinctive natural features that catch the eye. It was also important to ensure that things that cross rivers, such as bridges, are preserved, as can be seen in the city below. When we created the map we had to ensure that the roads and buildings showed up correctly even in the most isolated of places such as islands far from the mainland. The Isle of Scilly which we are currently over is the closest point to the origin of the OS coordinate system making it an ideal testing ground. The map is 18,000 blocks across by 52,000 blocks high and is scaled so that 25 meters in the real world corresponds to one block within the game world. It's so large that it would take one hour and ten minutes to fly from the Isles of Scilly off of Cornwall to the Shetland Islands north of Scotland. We are now flying over Snowdon which is one of the few mountainous parts of the country where the elevation truly becomes distinctive. The hills are slightly exaggerated at two times their real world height, but it's necessary in order to be able to perceive the huge variations of height among the vast majority of what is a relatively flat country. A real balance was struck between maintaining game playability and data accuracy which allows underground materials that are needed in the game, such as ores gold and diamond to produce automatically within the world. It also allowed us to designate where the forests exist which allowed us to assign just those specific areas to produce trees. As we fly over London up the River Thames you are probably able to make out the various roads crossing the urban landscape. The road network, which is probably the most iconic feature found within the map, is distinguished as different coloured wall blocks matching the traditional road colours within Ordnance Survey maps. Railways were also included in dark black to add context to the road network, and as we fly over London, you should be able to make out the many railways as they interweave across the city. You can also identify within the map distinctive landmarks such as High Park below. Minecraft has a height limit of 256 blocks which means from sea level up to the peak of Ben Nevis has to be compressed into this small range of values and still include a small amount of rock for gameplay purposes. At several times during development the tops of these mountains were cut off leaving a flat plateau as a result of hitting the top of the world. The map was primarily tested and developed just using Southampton, which contains all of the different features found across the country, except the sharp peaks of the Grampians and Snowdonia. It's also the home of Ordnance Survey headquarters, where we originally created the map. On its release, the Minecraft map of Great Britain made national headlines and has downloads in the hundreds of thousands. We feel the map helped bring a bit of geography to the younger generations in a way which allowed them to explore the country unhindered. The end result was almost a virtual reality in Minecraft.